Let, let's let's try and see what happens. All right. This is probably gonna kill my drive. I got seventy four on this. Well, so far it's not taxing my system whatsoever. That's the whole point of shadow play, I think. Yeah, I think it only taxes like the GPU, and that's pretty much it. Well, the GPU isn't even reading properly. I think I might have to update MSI Afterburner. It's because my driver's updated, and I forgot to restart my system, too. Oh, crap. I just realized that I forgot to toggle for this bypass again. Because if I don't re-toggle it, like, it still plays as it, but it doesn't display correctly. Interesting. Yeah, so it, it still shows that it's running at, like, it displays only 240 frames just because that's how the game is intended to work. And I just have to, like, re-toggle it. It's not because it's off, it's just a weird quirk with the game. So that means it was still running at 360. It just wasn't looking like it. I, I died to the second last obstacle uh, right before the street fight. This level is actually fun. RTX Remix for Geometry Dash. <laughs> oh yeah, by the way, you remember that Yeah, that's also a feature I can't access on, on the 2016. RTX Remix is not available for me at all. Which sucks. Yeah, you'd have but, to... But, uh, I mean, seeing how well Portal with RTX runs, I'm not complaining. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't run that well. It doesn't even run well on a 4090, and that's... and that's... and that's concerning. Still didn't break, interesting. It breaks at this point. Well, that's great. If it actually doesn't break my system anymore, I could actually switch to Linux almost full time. And I'd still, help, still probably have to play Genshin on, on Windows. If we think unless about that it. also works. If we think about it, the bleeding edge of today is basically the mainstream of tomorrow. Would you say? I hope that's true. I mean, if you think about it this way, um, we basically got like... We basically got 2080 Ti level performance for like... Uh, um, on like 3060 Ti's and like... Something like that. It's... I, or like 3070, sorry. Just with less VRAM. And for a, f hu for a significantly lower price. Only if you can find them, like, like on the exactly. used market. Like, if that didn't happen, then, you know. 
I think Ampere probably would have been like the second best generation to have ever graced NVIDIA's, uh, or maybe even the best one, like super surpassing Pascal. All right, I beat this. <laughs> but oh, the level ends before. Wait, oh, you beat what? It. It's still you beat before one hundred percent. You beat it. It gave me the stars at ninety percent. What happened? Oh yeah, yeah, that that that's a bug that happens. All right, so I beat this in twenty-seven attempts, plus however many I took on the copy. So probably like a hundred. There we go. Okay. This is just a bug fix of Nelv because Nelv is broken on the servers. Like, all the toggle Ooh, orbs are broken. Oh! And one of the slopes are broken, too. What's up? Oh, this is actually interesting. Uh, I just noticed that the desktop effects are still working right now, even though I have GD running, which is actually something that didn't used to happen, and well, ever. But this means that everything is actually working correctly and my graphics won't bag out. Oh, that's there's a high chance of that. Because usually desktop effects would disappear, the windows would stop being transparent, they would stop be wiggly, they wouldn't be wiggly anymore and stuff. It would come back they after the game was good. turned off, but, uh, but stuff would break and now it doesn't, which is great actually. Maybe Jeez. I'm running in full screen windowed? I don't know. Let me actually see. Um, to be I'm not. I mean, yeah. I, mean, I, I can just turn it off to make them rigid again, but I like when I wiggle a bit. Okay. No transition classic, it's much better than Robtop's no transition. Yeah, I don't... Robtop's no transition flickers a lot. I don't, I don't really for like... Some reason. I don't really like Robtop's implementations. Like, they're they're good if you don't have Mega Hack, but... Mega Hack is obviously superior. On Android it's terrible. It flickers to black every time. I switch a page. I mean, I change a layer, technically, because there are layers and stuff. Every single time it goes to black and then to the content uh, it should, which is very annoying. But on the other hand, waiting for two seconds is worse. Damn. Damn. Also, Molten Mercury has a broken ending right now. The end. <laughs> I was thinking about maybe picking it up uh, again because I was planning to beat it after Bloodbuff. I was planning on beating it too. I did a smart thing of asking people on Reddit what should I beat next, and the, um, the answers that people gave me were this or Blade of Justice. Uh, I tried this and then I, um, after a few days, probably like, Three or four days, I decided not to do this because waves in this level were way too hard for me. Molten Mercury is really fun once you get the hang of it, though. I mean, I could feel it, but they were way too hard for me. If anything, there are like a few areas where they're like, there are a few areas that just flat out don't work.
Oh my god, fine. I mean, also, I don't, I don't like this part. 